What's up YouTube, it's Ian again and I'm playing some more Minecraft and I'm actually in a different cave this time and there's a skeleton around me I don't like that and I've just found some iron right, I just found some iron, I just smelted some iron and I found some gold and so I made myself a couple of iron pickaxes, an iron sword and some, some iron armor so here we go, look at that armor, yeah alright we can get this gold, look at that I sh probably shouldn't be digging straight down. It's probably not the best idea. Especially with monsters around me. Um, so, I'm exploring another scary cave. And that is actually a good place to be. Because my topic I wanted to talk about in this video is scary games. And if you've seen or listened to my last, uh, my last commentary over Minecraft, you'll know that Minecraft is a pretty scary game for me. But I wanted to talk about some different scary games, and if you can, leave in the comments below right now your top three scary games that you've ever played. Minecraft can be one of them, I don't care. You can choose any PC game, any console game. They don't have to be, you know, popular. I, I want to see some weird answers, and maybe I'll, maybe I'll check out some videos about the game you list. But... I want to talk about my top three. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really. 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 That just made my fucking heart stop. I'm not even kidding you right now. Oh my god. This is a great. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. You know what? Fuck you, bitch. Eat iron. Oh my god, dude. Another skeleton? Really? Alright, well, we can officially say that I'm fucking scared, that's for sure. Um, wow. So, anyway, what are your top three scary games? My top three scary games would definitely have to be, at number three, um, Bioshock. And, and Bioshock's pretty scary for reasons like that. When you fucking come around a corner... And a goddamn enemy just starts attacking you. Um, basically, the backstory behind Bioshock is at the beginning of the game. This won't I, won't. I won't give any spoilers away. At the beginning of the game, you're in a plane crash. You crash in the ocean. You swim over to this tower thing, and you find this little like submarine elevator pod. You go down, and you go down to a city called Rapture, and it's an underwater city. Under underwater underwater city. It's an underwater city that was uh, supposed to be a utopia, and it was built by... I don't, it, was he a scientist? I, he was probably a scientist or something. His name was Andrew Ryan, and he wanted to build this utopia under the sea. And as all utopias go, you know, cor corruption happens, no more utopia. So this, this huge war broke out between, you know, some rebel force led by a man called Fontaine and he went up against Andrew Ryan and the whole city kind of went down the drain and Andrew Ryan's still alive but he's kind of pulling the strings still he's puppet master and it's the reason it's a scary game is it's because you're you're in this underwater city all alone I said I swear I said underwater again you're in this underwater city all alone and you're fighting these these mutated beings, which they're mutated because there's these these power ups called plasmids that you basically inject into yourself, and it gives you like superpowers. It's pretty crazy, and it's definitely the best part of the game because when you're using these superpowers, it's just so intense. That shaft is really deep. If I would have said really long, I'm sure there would have been a oh, that's what she said right in there, but. Um, yeah, Rapture. It's it's crazy place underwater. You're all alone. It's it's dark and it's very I don't know. It's it's got this feel of like the nineteen nineteen fifties maybe or like nineteen twenties. Just the music and the the feel to it, and it's it's really creepy. It's really intriguing. It's really beautiful all at the same time. And it's really scary. So number three would definitely have to be Bioshock. It's a great game. If you haven't played it already, 
where the hell have you been um just kidding just give it a try seriously give it a try uh number two would definitely have to be dead space now dead space 2 just came out recently i haven't got a chance to play it yet hopefully i can do that soon um but dead space 1 i hadn't played for a while and i'd actually heard really good things about it and then my friend finally let me me borrow it and i'm just gonna say right now just to be completely candid when I first played Dead Space, the first night, I instantly recognized it as one of my favorite games of all time. That's just how good it is. It is, it is amazing. I, <laughs> I, I can't really describe how how amazing it is, except for just saying that that the very first night I played it, I just became like I don't know infatuated with it, and the reason it's so good is because it's so well polished. Like there's no real major glitches you'll find and the the combat is is great the the atmosphere is fantastic the story is fantastic i don't even know the this the game is just fantastic and there's not really much to say about it basically a little backstory is you're this engineer who's named Isaac Clark and you have a girlfriend who's working on a ship called the Ishimura and basically it you like lose contact with the Ishimura and you go out to investigate it because you have a, a personal interest in your girlfriend and it's basically <laughs> been a, been attacked not really attacked but taken over by uh by these things called necromorphs which are okay god damn it which by these things called necromorphs and basically they are these zombie people with giant blades for arms they're fucking scary as hell and the only way to kill them is to shoot off their limbs, which is very innovative. You know, when, you, when you're when you playing a shooter game, you're thinking, aim for the chest, aim for the head. In this game, you, you aim for the arms, you aim for the legs. And there's a, a, there's a bunch of different monsters with different, different abilities that you have to watch out for. You have different abilities. There's some lapis lazuli. There's some diamond sun. What's up? All right, that's, oh my god, more. Um, lava, lava, lava. I really hope I don't get killed down here. Oh my god, look at all that lava. Um, so yeah, you have some abilities too, like Kinesis, which you can, you know, throw things around. I didn't... Oh, I did. I placed that. Alright, never mind. I thought it was going to be a dungeon. Um, so you basically have your abilities, like freezing people in, in place and throwing things, which I didn't really use the throwing things that much. In the first one, I hear it's got a way bigger use in the second game. So I'm kind of excited to see how that plays out. That is a zombie burning. Um, so yeah, that should be interesting to see how, how Kinesis is in Dead Space 2 when I play it. But yeah, Dead Space, if you haven't played it yet, once again, where the hell have you been? Um, seriously, go check it out. It's it's awesome. And my number one scary game might not be the best, you know, gameplay mechanic-wise, but it's definitely my top scary game of all time, and that would have to be Fear. And just the Fear series. Fear 1 was insanely scary. Fear 2 was still pretty scary, but it was a little bit more action-y, and from the looks of it, Fear 3 is going to be a little bit more action-y and a little less scary. I don't know. I, I can't judge yet, but I really hope they keep the fear factor in there. And it, it looks pretty good. But, um, wow, Fear 1 was my first Xbox 360 game. We uh, we actually got my Xbox 360 at Video Games Etc., which is kind of like a knockoff of GameStop. And basically we got my Xbox 360. I saw Fear for 20 bucks, and I was like, I need an Xbox 360 game, so I guess I'll get this. And I'd heard good things about it. I'd heard it was really scary, so I was like, oh, geez. I don't know. I'm. I went home. It was like 11 o'clock at night, and I got on Fear. I played for maybe 20 minutes, and then I had to shut it off. I I was scared shitless. Um, fear is an insanely scary game. It'll it'll make you jump. That's its main uh, fear factor quality. It just makes you jump, and it's it's really scary. There's a lot of scary moments. Um, I'm gonna call out one right now. If you've played the game, maybe you'll you'll. Uh, relate with me the little uh the ladder the ladder trick i don't know if you want to call it that the ladder trick um yeah that scared me i don't even know 
how much it it fucking scared me though and and it was uh it's pretty surprising i wasn't expecting it 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 throws out those little those little jumpy moments but uh but yeah fear check it out fear 2 is is a little bit less scary but just as good as a game and fear 3 i'm lo really looking forward to so hopefully they uh they did a good job developing that so that's all my scary games uh, all three of my top scary games. Please leave a comment below telling your top three scary games. And like I said, it doesn't have to be uh, anything that, you know, it, it can be some crazy game that no one's ever heard of except for you. And I, I'll look into it. I'll, I'll, see, uh, I'll see what you're talking about. And uh, so yeah, leave a comment. Uh, be sure to rate and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys later.